Kurt Shaw, president of Shaw Galleries, El Presidente. You have a ton of amazing things in a very, very small space. How do you manage this? Uh, it's a lot of effort because we have over 3,000 things in this store currently. That is your inventory, 3,000, well, 3,000 well, plus. Probably. Yeah, we have over 4,000 things in inventory total. And we're still working on processing it all the time. This is a treasure trove here. And um, you know, just during my visit uh, today, what I'm finding is that uh, it's so much more than art. In fact, you could say more artifacts than art. Uh, antique maps and uh, historical documents really seem to be prevalent here. Oh yeah, we specialize in works on paper, antique works on paper, uh, prints, maps, uh, even deeds and stock certificates uh, that go back 300 years. We've got prints here uh, as old as the 1750s. And this is, you know, unusual, I think, to find so many of these things in one place. Yeah, it is in the United States. Now in Europe, uh, like you say in London, for example, you'll find print shops like this. Um, and I wanted to bring something like that to Pittsburgh. This is the only one in our region. You'd have to go to Philadelphia to find anything like this. And that's that's incredible to know that, that we have this here in Pittsburgh. So folks can stop down. You've got hours they can kind of come in. Oh yeah, right, take a look, take a stroll. Yeah. Um, but you know, and I know that Europe has a very deep, deep, deep history, but so does Pittsburgh itself. And you certainly have a respect for that here because just looking around, there are some incredible pieces dating back to the founding of this city. Oh yeah, yeah, we have, we always have maps of Pittsburgh. Um, we've sold and handled many of uh, Fort Pitt, Fort Duquesne. Um, they kind of come and go because people really look for those. Mm -hmm. um, and we have collectors that are always asking what do we have when we get it in, you know, if they, they want to know if we got it in. Um, but we have a lot of early Pittsburgh maps and we're known for that. We just sold one today of Lawrenceville from 1872. I could actually use a modern map of Lawrenceville because after happy hour at Tamari, I can't find my car, so I might be calling. <laughs> we got some incredible pieces here. I mean, this this one uh, that, that's behind you, that's Allegheny County. Yeah, right? this is a, an Everts. Um, that was a publisher. This is 1876. Everts was a publisher, an American publisher, that produced uh, a lot of atlases around the 100th anniversary of the country. Uh, this is a deed to essentially what is now Southside Works. Tell us about this. Oh yeah, uh, we, we have several deeds, uh, Allegheny County deeds, um, from the Oliver Building to this particular piece, which is to that section where Southside Works is now, as you've described, which was originally called Ormsby, after John Ormsby, who was uh, an American Revolutionary War soldier who was deeded that property amongst, um, well, a total of 3,000 acres, including Car what's now Carrick, um, part of the main part of the south side, and the Ormsby section. He had five children, three survived. His daughter, Sydney Gregg, was given, and her husband were given the Ormsby section. After her husband died, uh, she tried to keep the family together and was running into major debt. And um, she had a, a, an attorney, which I'll say this name and a lot of Pittsburghers will know. Edgar Snyder. No, no, but <laughs> the Edgar Snyder of the day, who was Neville Craig. All right. Okay, so uh, of, um, the, Craig is a, you know, Isaac Craig had the glassworks uh, at the base of oh, yes, the yes, indeed. And one of his sons, Neville, was a, an attorney, very prominent attorney. So she had Neville Craig declare her a lunatic in the Pennsylvania Supreme Court in 1834. In 1835, this deed was issued to sell the property to uh, Jacob Byerly for $308. So it's an interesting piece of Pittsburgh history. There is a lot of history here. I mean, it's kind of like a museum, <laughs> in a lot yeah. of ways, except everything's for sale, <laughs> which we should stress <laughs> well, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, another large part of your business here that operates out of Shaw Gallery is uh, appraisals. Oh yeah, it's a big part of our business. We do uh, many every week, I do several. Um, people come in and they bring in everything from paintings and prints to, uh, we had a 16 foot oriental rug walk through here once. You got uh, like a little antiques road show going on kind of, yeah. you never know what's going to show up. True. Is it fun for you appraising? Oh I love it. Yeah. I love the history of it. Um, 
Earlier this year, I was tapped by mutualart.com, which is a huge website international, and I'm now one of their appraisers. So I wake up every morning and I do appraisals for them. And I love it when people come in because I get to meet people and I enjoy the interaction. Plus, I help facilitate uh, the sale of those items. Many times they come in, they not only want to know what it's worth, but they want to try to sell it. So we help them figure out where what auction house to take it to. Because right now, that's really the way to sell things. And actually, an appraisal is pretty affordable. Yeah, because we only charge twenty-five dollars per item, and um, and it, that's if we can place a value on it. If we don't, if we're not able to place a value on it, or if it's worthless, so to speak, we don't charge you. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So, and I mean, for twenty-five dollars alone, the peace of mind is worth that. I mean, I'm looking around here. What what does your place look like? <laughs> What's the decor uh, at your house? That's great because uh, it's not this. It's funny you should ask that. Um, shortly after I opened this business, I moved to a condo on Mount Washington and in an ultra contemporary place, the Trimont. And um, you know, that place is very contemporary and so are my walls. So I have very stark abstraction, um, you know, and very contemporary lines in the furniture, etc. So I, I, my daughter and I, you know, we kind of look at it like the antithesis to all of it. Wow, <laughs> you, that's you kind of have a yin yang in your life. Yeah, kind of cool. Yeah. The South Side Works essentially sold for three hundred and eight eighty dollars. Three hundred and eight dollars. Three hundred and eight dollars. Yes. I can't get dinner and a movie for that down there today. <laughs> Human stories, I yeah, think, in this business, business, don't you? Human stories, yeah. <laughs> Things like the rover, Mars rover, not well, Mars, the, well, the moon. Get your planets in line, man. I know, really. I I at once had a, almost a fight, a near fight, break out here over the history of the Prussian a fight War. on Liberty <laughs> Avenue. Yeah, You're well, kidding yeah, me! I know, right? I really don't believe it. <laughs> so condition is important, and preserving condition is very important. I myself don't go out into the sun unless I have to. That's why we're doing this interview at night. So, you know, a lot of times people come in here with huge expectations. Yeah. And, and you know, we talk Sometimes through, you gotta let them down easy. Huh? Sometimes. But, you know, that, would you rather know the reality of it? Or would you, you know, just want to go on believing? For 25 bucks, I want the truth. So that, you know, if it, op you, know you don't want it to open too low. Right, so they get a fair deal. Exactly. They're a hero for the people. Well, I try. Like.